Notion's finally getting serious about its automation capabilities and reducing the need for third-party automation services like Zapier and Make. And the new Gmail action is especially useful for personalizing and sending emails in bulk, like a mail merge system you may have used with Google Sheets or Excel. So I'm going to walk you through the best system for leveraging this capability, and in doing so, provide a good primer on Notion automations in general. And for members of Notion A to Z, you can access this system as a fully configured template to duplicate your workspace or reference as you reconstruct the system yourself. If you're not yet a member of Notion A to Z, consider joining us for full access to all Notion VIP templates and resources so you can get the most from Notion. Now, as you know, my number one rule for using Notion is to structure all content in related master databases and then access it through contextually filtered views. That's the crux of my bulletproof framework, which starts with about nine master databases that are applicable to almost all users. And two of those databases are people and organizations, which are referenced by this automated mail merge system. So while this template is isolated, the idea is to apply it to your master people and organizations databases that already serve as your single sources of truth. And you relate them to this third database called mail merges, which I've added to the Bulletproof starter template, along with some new properties in the people database and a mail merge view, which we'll walk through in just a second. So for each mail merge campaign, you'll add an item to this mail merges database. You'll give it an easily recognizable title. Then we have properties for the subject of the email, the body, and the signature you'd like to use. And within the subject and body, you can use placeholders for the recipient's preferred name and organization. You can use either once or multiple times if you'd like. And if you want to add hyperlinks, be sure to reference the example. It's a similar simple tagging structure. And then in the people database, we have this mail merge view, which I've mentioned I've added to the Bulletproof starter template. So each person is related to their organization, which is already part of your system if you're following the Bulletproof method. And then of course we have their email address and then their preferred name, which is how this mail merge system will address them in their personalized emails. And then we have the relation back to the mail merges database. So to include someone in your current mail merge campaign, you'll select it in this property. And obviously when you're working in your full people database, it'll be helpful to choose from within views that are filtered and grouped by properties like relationship type. And these two formula properties are the personalized versions of the mail merges subject and body. They replace those placeholders with each person's organization and preferred name. And then with this status property, when you're ready, you can trigger sending. You can do one at a time or multiple simultaneously, but you want to be careful not to trigger suspicion of spam from Google. I really wouldn't send more than 20 per hour. Now let's take a look at the automation's configuration before walking through a full example. So every Notion automation has one or more trigger events and then one or more actions. This one's triggered when that status property is set to triggered. And then the first action uses that new Gmail integration. So you'll connect your Gmail account to send from it. It can be a free Gmail account or a paid Google Workspace account with a custom domain. Then for the recipient, we're using the email property of the triggered person. And for the subject, a formula references the personalized subject property. And another formula populates the personalized body, which includes the signature you created for the current campaign. And then you also want to include a display name for the sender. So that's the email. And then another action changes that status property to sent. So let's walk through a full example mail merge campaign. In this scenario, we'll be the creator of Notion VIP contacting prospective content partners in bulk with each email personalized. And we'll pick up with those prospects already in our master people database and related to their organization. So in the mail merges database, the title of this campaign is prospective content partners. The subject is introduce Notion users to organization, where organization is a placeholder for the recipient's organization. And then the body of the email contains multiple instances of the organization and preferred name placeholders, along with a few hyperlinks that use that similar tag format. And the signature can be formatted with Notion's native rich text options. I'll spare you the technicalities, but the short answer is because it doesn't use any of those placeholders. And then over in the people database, we have our recipients related to their organization, along with their email addresses and preferred names. 
Now, like I said, when you're working with your full master database of people, you'll likely want to choose your mail merge recipients from filtered views. I typically filter by relationship type, which is a property of the people database in the Bulletproof framework. But here we're going to choose all of these contacts. So within the mail merge property, I'll choose our prospective content partners campaign. And when I do that, it populates the personalized versions of the subject and body. So to choose the rest, I'll just drag to fill down. And that personalizes all of their subjects and bodies. And that's it. From there, we can use the status property to trigger the automation to send the personalized email and update the status property. And like I said, I'd send no more than 20 per hour. And in testing with yourself as a recipient, don't be alarmed if it takes a few minutes to receive the email. Something about Notion's integration with Gmail causes a brief lag. So you can see the enormous utility of combining conventional mail merge capabilities with your single sources of truth in Notion. And in Notion A to Z, you can access this fully configured system as a standalone template or within the latest version of the Bulletproof workspace. And if you're not yet a member of Notion A to Z, I hope you'll join us so you can get the most from Notion.